What is happening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another DCS VR optimization guide. This video will more or less apply to those of you with low to mid end hardware. So last generation hardware. I'm still rolling with an RTX 2060 Super, uh, CI7 9700, and it's still quite formidable in my eyes. It does the trick. Uh, although I have had to roll back my graphics. So today I'm gonna save you a ton of time, trust me. Follow these steps to a T. Uh, part of this video will apply to those of you that do like to jump into a multiplayer dogfight or multiplayer battles. So with that being said, we will roll to 72 hertz for those kind of situations. And for those of us sometimes that just want to jump in and fly, we will set it to 90 hertz, but we will have to dial back a bit. We're going to use the Oculus Tray tool for some of this optimization. And I'm also going to maybe do a small overclock. Uh, I did notice a little bit of a difference when I did use an overclock in VR for DCS. Not much, uh, nothing to write home about, but I will share it with you anyways. I did roll to Windows 11 for a little while. It was quite awesome with a flat track IR, looks wonderful. But uh, as soon as I jumped into VR, it wasn't quite optimized. And regardless of my settings or anything I did, didn't work. So here we are back to Windows 10. It's quite an easy rollback. I was way past the 10 day grace period, the Windows Media tool, and uh, I'll explain that. It's quite easy. Anyways, without further ado, I hope this video comes to you safely. And like I said, I'm going to save you a ton of time. So stick around. Here we go. And uh, words from a famous duck. Let's get dangerous. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to jump into our DCS settings. Uh, these are my in-game graphic settings I'm going to share with you. Texture, you're going to want to set that as high. This determines how objects look. So just set it to high. After that, we're going to go to terrain textures. This determines how the terrain looks. Uh, it isn't terribly important. I am a ground hugger, so I'm just going to keep that cranked up high. After that, we got civil traffic. We're just going to set that off because... In my personal opinion, I don't really care if there's cars. I mean, I'm flying a plane. Water, we're gonna set that to medium. I did lower that a bit and it does help my system. So just try it out. Try it before you knock it. <laughs> Visible range, we're gonna set that to medium. In VR, doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, I've tried all of it. Uh, just set that to medium, as I said. Heat blur, we're just gonna leave that off because meh, cares. Shadows, we're gonna set that to high because they just look so fabulous. Resolution, set that as low as possible with what your monitor can do. For me, it's 1280 by 768. It doesn't really matter what's going on in your monitor because you're in VR. Aspect ratio will follow suit. Now, monitors, we're just gonna set to one screen because in my case, I'm using one monitor. It doesn't really matter. We're using VR. Res of cockpit, 1024 every frame. Now this does matter. Uh, it just looks so beautiful and I'm telling you, just try it out. MSAA, this is a bit of a hardware hog. I would set it to two times. Um, it just looks fantastic. I wouldn't screw with that or I wouldn't even run it at zero. That's just my opinion. Depth of field, off, lens effect, none. Motion blur, we've done this in the past. Yuck, who cares? Uh, clouds, clouds are important. Um, they're part of the sky and guess where you are? You're in the sky, uh, keep it high. Everything else, we're just gonna keep off, and then we're gonna go up to the other side. Clutter and grass, I am a ground hugger, again. Uh, although I did lower it to 170, I'm telling you, you keep it low, you can even run it at zero. I mean, it doesn't look all that good, uh, the higher you put it, really. Forest visibility, we're gonna run at 66%. Forest detail factor, 0.7. After that, we have scenery details factor uh, one and preload radius, usually around 90,000. My case, uh, 85,900. Chimney smoke, yuck. Zero. Gamma, 1.2. Anisotropic filtering, I have lowered it to four times. Um, I was noticing stuttering and when I lowered it to four, there's no stutters and everything still looks good. So just try it out. Terrain object shadows off global cockpit or whatever, illumination off. Message font scale one, scale GUI one, rain droplets on, and I, I just don't run full screen <laughs> right now. Doesn't really matter, you're in VR. After that, we're gonna go in and uh, VR settings, enable 
virtual reality headset. You might want to check that, uh, especially if you want to use VR. Pixel density, I've lowered that from 1.3 to 1.0. Makes a huge difference, but I'm not noticing stuttering. So that helps, no ghosting. Below that, you have Force IPD. I've set that to 6.0. And below that, MSAA mass size at 0.40. I used to have it at 0.42, but 0.40 looks fantastic. And away we go. We're gonna keep this short and simple. First, we're gonna to go to uh, NVIDIA control panel. Then we're gonna scroll down to power management mode. We're then gonna set that to preferred maximum performance. Below that a few, texture filtering, we're gonna set that to high performance. A few down the list, we're going to look for vertical sync and we're going to set that to fast. And one down from there, pre-rendered frames, we're going to set that to two. Click apply, wait for it to finish, and right above it, adjust image settings with preview. We're going to use the 3D application and just leave it at quality. Click apply again, and then we can exit out. Okay, this is all going to be pretty quick. so. Uh, Stick with me here. First, we're going to go into graphics settings and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. I'm turning that to on. And if you do as well, make sure you restart your PC for that to take effect. Next, we're going to go into game mode. And as always, we're going to leave that off. Click out of there. Next, power and sleep settings. Go to additional settings and we're going to set that to high performance. Now we're going to exit out of there. Now, this one, I've seen other people use it. I'm actually starting to try it out, but we're gonna go into control panel. Scroll down to the bottom where it says system. We're gonna go to advanced system settings where it says performance, go to settings. And again, we're gonna go to advanced, follow that, click there, exit out. And as I was saying before, we're gonna exit this all out, but we are gonna use, I am gonna use an overclock. Um, I like to use MSI Afterburner. I've already downloaded it and I use it quite frequently. Um, I've already set mine, I'm actually doing, if you can follow that, it works, especially for an RTX 2060 Super with DCS, but this is something you're gonna wanna do. Make sure you set your fan curve. You don't wanna be using any overclocking without a fan curve unless you plan on cooking your GPU. Follow these guidelines. You can always set your own curve, but mine's pretty dramatic. Uh, we're gonna minimize that. And another thing I notice when you click in MSI, you wanna make sure GeForce Experience is not running in the background. Uh, like I said before, you can go into Task Manager. I'm gonna go into Acer Care Center and basically just disable any background apps. And as I was saying, you can do the same from Task Manager. We are gonna go into Task Manager right now, but that's not what we're doing. We're gonna prioritize OVR uh, underscore 64. You'll see it down the list here. Right click, we're gonna to go to set priority and we're gonna set that to high. So our focus goes directly to, to our link cable. Provided you're using link, and I hope you are, so much better. Click into Oculus. We're gonna to go to devices and again, this time I'm after, like I said, dial back to graphics with 90 hertz. I'm not going to the preferred setting. We're gonna run it to 1648. Click okay. You're gonna to have to jump out of there for that to take effect. All right, Oculus Tray Tool. This is always my go-to. It's either this or the Oculus Debug Tool. I just find this one's a little safer to use without losing files. I will explain that after. Default Super Sampling, set that to 1.0. We're gonna force 45. I find that works better. OVR, recommended we're gonna set that to high. And down at the bottom, Oculus Link. I've set mine more like an RTX 2070. Doesn't really matter. Uh, set by trait to 250. Click save and restart. It will restart the Oculus app as well. I'm gonna minimize that. Okay, uh, next up we're gonna I'm gonna show you the Oculus app or the debug tool. So follow these steps in order to get there. Go to diagnostics, Oculus debug tool. 
And right here, this is something if you're gonna use it, you can always pin it right here. I'm gonna, I have it to unpin because I've already pinned it to my taskbar. So I do use it sometimes. Anyways, that's what you would do. You wanna pin it to your taskbar if you find you're gonna use this. Uh, as I was saying, you can follow these pixels. I would set it to one, but you really don't need to if you've already set it within the app itself. We're gonna go into, we're gonna move this first. Uh, go into services, click there. Toggle console, and we're gonna say yes, and yes again. And now this is going to be running in the background. I found this actually helps quite a bit, but very similar. Uh, you do not wanna minimize this while it's running, uh, while you're running DCS or any other PC VR game. Now, I know a lot of people don't show this, but you can set it to go off or turn off when you're done. But in order to stop this safely, do this step, the same stuff that you went to go in. Uh, I still recommend using the Oculus Tray tool. Anyways, we'll move on to the next. Here we go. Next, we're going to go into Virtual Desktop. Uh, I recently purchased a uh, Asus AX5482U router, 6G, and I've just noticed such a difference, 1200 megabytes per second and stable. My last router, not so cool. Sometimes jump from 5G to 2.4. Anyways, we're gonna put synchronous space warp to automatic. Below that, VR bitrate, I'm running at 71 frames per second, or megabytes per second, and 90 frames per second. Asynchronous space warp, uh, basically, you're gonna be getting 90 hertz, not so much 90 frames per second, it kind of cuts that in half. I've monitored it using an overlay and 45 frames per second, but it's good. Next, we're gonna go into uh, Steam VR. And my handy dandy uh, frames per second, or sorry, uh, FPS VR. It gives you your frame times, frame rate, get, and it gives you an overlay basically of what's going on within your VR headset. We're gonna set resolution per eye to 72%. Scroll down to video, select the app, DCS in this case, and again, 72%. Bada boom, that's done. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is show you how to record your in headset footage. Uh, go into side quest and at the top right, we're gonna run ADB commands, but we're gonna do this manually, no copy paste. Manually is just as easy. Uh, it actually looks wonderful. Essentially, you're gonna get 60 frames per second by 1920 by 1080, so HD. Um, first up, ADB shell set prop, debug.oculus.capture.width space 1920. ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge. <laughs> Little tidbit of information there. Uh, next, we're gonna go to ADB shell set prop debug dot oculus dot capture dot height space 1080. And then after each one of these commands, you're gonna run command. After this, we're gonna go to ADB shell set prop debug dot oculus dot fovation dot level zero. There should be enough time to screen capture or follow along, whatever have you. I find it's actually kind of fun. Uh, a lot of times I'll just record my Beat Saber footage and I don't know, it's just fun to do a playback or even share with family. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to ADB shell set prop debug dot oculus dot texture with 1920. Run that command. And this is the one that's going to get us 60 frames per second. We're going to go to ADB shell set prop debug dot oculus dot capture dot FPS space six zero. Again, you're going to run that command. And last, we're going to go to ADB shell set prop debug dot oculus dot capture dot bit rate space one zero 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 zero. I run that command. Um, and that's it for, for uh, basically your recording. But what we're gonna jump into next is DCS VR footage and uh, also settings. I will share with you all the settings that I'm using. Here we go. Okay, so I made Boo Boo. Uh, we still have to get to the multiplayer and dog fighting. So you're gonna wanna go back into the Oculus app we're gonna go down and we're gonna set our uh, settings at 72 Hertz. 
We're then gonna go to the recommended, which will be one. We're gonna save and restart. And after this does its uh, restart, we're gonna go into the Oculus tray tool and adjust, I believe, two different settings and we are golden. I'll minimize that. We're gonna go into the Oculus tray tool, click yes. And right there, we're gonna set default ASW to 30 Hertz. We're then gonna go into Oculus Link and set bitrate or bitrate to 250. Save and restart. And there you have it. All other settings apply. Uh, this all goes for multiplayer. All right, I am not gonna jump into a multiplayer battle today, but we are gonna fly. So we're gonna do our settings accordingly. I'm gonna set it, uh, Oculus, go into the app, and we're gonna set it to 90 Hertz. Click OK. We're gonna exit that out, minimize this. You'd probably have to restart it. Then we're gonna go into the Oculus tray tool and we're gonna force 45 Hertz on asynchronous space warp. After that, Oculus Link, set 250 bitrate, save and restart. And we'll minimize this. We're gonna keep that running in the background, minimize the Oculus app. Next, I'm gonna run my overclock. MSI Afterburner. Got my settings already set, click OK. Minimize this, we're gonna keep that running in the background, and now we are ready to fly. And finally, I could take a breath of air and, uh, or virtual air. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the settings that I've provided with you uh, today through this whole video is basically because when I rolled back from Windows 11, I found that my graphics and there was stuttering, so it wasn't quite as good as it was before. I believe there's been a few updates and changes Although I am running DCS uh, VR, whatever, beta version. And I, I know that my graphics card isn't really up to date. It's not one of the top cards, probably never was. <laughs> it was always somewhat of a mid-spec card, which is good. I'm, I'm happy with that. The card has provided me with everything that I need. Uh, this will apply to those of you with low to mid-end cards, like myself. This is why I share it. and. I was saying when I came back from Windows 11 to Windows 10, uh, it was stuttery, the graphics didn't look as good. I, I do get headaches sometimes, if especially if there's a lot of stuttering, uh, jittery. Uh, it's almost, there was quite a bit of ghosting as well. You fly by an object and it would skip by. Uh, not cool. <laughs> it's just, to me, that's not a good experience. I, I don't know, I, I believe I have pretty strong VR legs, but it pretty much ruined VR, so I had to put it down for a little while. Uh, I came back strong, spent a couple weeks basically adjusting the settings, hence why we're here today. I'm hoping that this video really does help you. We're about to put this bird down on the supercarrier. This is a fantastic short mission. If you haven't tried it, you need to. It is so much fun. You gotta get your speed just right. Oh yeah, we got one wire. Um, for me, that's pretty good. I usually don't get the one wire. We're just gonna have a quick look around at the supercarrier and then we're gonna bounce. Anyways, I really, really hope this video helps you out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. And if you need some more content like this or if you just need a helping hand, there's always somebody uh, in the comments below. I'll probably leave a couple links. I've added some things in here such as side quest, um, Oculus tray tool. You're not gonna need a link to Oculus debug tool because it's already there if you have the Oculus app. I showed you how to get there. Anyways, uh, also MSI Afterburner. Uh, that is if you would, if you feel confident enough to do an overclock. Um, I don't think a lot of people do it anymore for uh, a lot of games, I, I still do. That being said that I'm still running on a mid-spec card or just mid-spec hardware. Anyways, <laughs> I've already said goodbye. We're going to say it again. I love y'all. I hope you're all good. And uh, don't forget, subscribe, ring that bell. And I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.